Hi, my name is Ebony Chambliss, and I am the Clinic Practice Manager here at Odyssey Health Louisiana Community Health Center. My name is Dr. Chanam Hatuk. I'm the Chief Medical Officer for East Valley Community Health Center in West Covina, California. My name is Jason Barillo. I'm a physician assistant at Coastal Health and Wellness in Galveston County, Texas. I'm medical director here at West Hawaii Community Health Center. I'm the safety manager here at the Sacramento Native American Health Center. And I am an HIV coordinator at Erie Family Health Center in Chicago, Illinois. I'm a pediatrician and the chief medical officer of the Dimmick Center that's been serving Boston, Massachusetts for over 150 years. We're a network of federally qualified health centers that serve over 115,000 people in the New York metropolitan area. For the past 15 years, Direct Relief has supported clinics and health centers because they are the safety net. They're the primary medical home for over 30 million patients throughout the country. It's amazing to me the work that this network of health centers and clinics does across the country, and, and frankly, how few people know about it because it's so integral to the healthcare system. Majority of our clients are uninsured, low income, homeless, experiencing substance abuse and co-occurring disorders. We primarily see our working people that work in service-based industries. We have a very diverse population here where 76% are at or below the federal poverty line. Over 36% of our patients seek their care in a language other than English. And we have a large immigrant population as well as refugee population. So Demix serves the Boston neighborhoods that have actually been the local hotspots with some of the highest rates of COVID infections. So when the state of Louisiana decided to shut down due to COVID-19, our team knew we had to find a way to continue providing care to our patients because they were among the most high-risk population. As we began to respond, of course, we sent out masks, gloves, goggles, face shields, etc. But also we were hearing enormous financial pressures and strain that they were facing many of whom were really stretching their last dollar to ensure that their doors could stay open. The last few months have been the most stressful I can ever remember in running this organization. COVID-19 has dramatically affected our program and our patient population, as they often live in crowded shelter environments or on the street, where practicing social distancing is impossible and the risk of transmission is very high. They are a vulnerable group. If they were to become infected, they have a much higher risk of serious complications. Things like job loss and social isolation, food insecurity, loss of childcare or school. There's just been so many stressors. Back in March when the pandemic hit our communities, we had to quickly transition to telehealth services and use our clinics as COVID-19 testing centers. We did have to operate with a limited crew though, limited resources and a skeleton crew. Uh, we were able to make it through, but it was very difficult. We are now operational, but can only see a fraction of our patients at physical facilities. So the rest is being done via telehealth. And we've been providing over 100,000 telehealth visits with our patients, trying to keep them out of the emergency room and give them advice about what to do during this COVID pandemic. We knew we had to do something more, so we created the COVID-19 Response Fund for Community Health. The aim of this fund was to mobilize financial resources so that they could keep their doors open and treat as many people as possible. Direct Relief ended up receiving over 600 applications that we ended up funding for a total of close to $30 million. It was the largest funding effort in Direct Relief's history. Let me say that this has caused financial stress on our organization, unlike anything I've seen in our 35 year history. So I'm incredibly grateful for both the financial and material support we've received from Direct Relief. The Direct Relief funds have really allowed us to ensure that we don't have to lay off any staff or have to cut back services. As we take care of those that are potentially sick with COVID-19, you see behind me our external triage tent that we've been taking care of these patients for the last two and a half months. It allow our patients to have increased access to behavioral health services in this really difficult time. Without these donations, we couldn't have expanded our testing capabilities or telehealth services as we did. We have been able to consistently provide a safe working environment for both our staff and our patients throughout our clinics. In our community, there has been a recent surge in cases, so we know we're not out of the woods yet, but we are much better prepared 
for what is to come and what we will have to do to continue to serve the health needs of our community. As we have been for over 15 years, deeply committed to the work of health centers, our support is aimed at ensuring they have the PPE on hand and increasingly the financial resources to be able to continue their mission. Mm -hmm.